One of the more stellar qualities of the woman that I currently and presently love, a matter of fact of the two women that I care for a great deal at this time, is their maturity. A maturity that I didn't see around town in anyone else prior to her arrival in town. And it was her maturity, her wit, her wisdom, and everything else about her packaging in business that allowed me to open my Rolodex and start to invite people to events that would benefit her business pretty much more than mine. The truth is that the compensation plan for that program was not marvelous, but it didn't matter to me because of who she was, not because of what that business could do for me. Eventually, I found the products to be okay, but not enough for my family to benefit. But I did believe in the value for other families that were working off of different income packages for their situations. In other words, a woman who is a part-time business owner might have a husband who is more affluent, who could afford those programs. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of it because it's pretty much over with in terms of that project time period. But what I can say is that a mature man knows what's right for him and what's wrong for him. What was right for me was everything about her. What was wrong for me was that period of time, because at that moment of time, my entire life was shifting based on a prayer I made. You can read more about that in my book, Soul Keepers, The Soul Strings of Our Life. But openly, that book is in honor of three women, my spouse or my Japanese wife, and the two women that came blazing into my life after that, and kind of alongside of that. I won't go into those details because they're private. But if you want to read something about how we keep souls, please buy my book. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and I speak the truth fully and wholeheartedly, that God brought someone into my life on the prayers that I made, and I knew that she was destined to be my wife. And I knew this almost every single minute and every single day, the minute that he said it to me, that her husband would leave her. And I couldn't believe it. The hard part about having prophetic gifts is the information that we get that can be hurtful to someone. The hard part about having gifts is deciding whether or not the individual will be able to compensate it, I'm sorry, be, be, in, be able to take it in or receive it. 